right on set, please. Such a massive question. Penelope Spheris' uh, Suburbia. One film that really springs to mind is Smoke. Do the Right Thing by Spike Lee. The, the Great Grunwick Strike, 1976 to 1978. Gary Oldman's Nil by Mouth. Paddy on the Beach. A film that is still shaking my world, and it's Lehane. It's the Conversation by Francis Ford Coppola. And there are many reasons why it shook my world. I didn't have such a wide view on, on British cinema. And I thought I'd say that Nil by Mouth was definitely a film that helped to turn me towards British cinema past and present, actually. It made me, if I look back on this film now, I remember how it, how it moved me and shocked me at its kind of brutal, and very, very honest depiction of human relationships at the time. I think it's got a lot of resonance today about kind of class, workers' rights, women's rights, the rights of migrant workers. You sit down and you watch this film and you're just kind of like, ah, that's, that's perfect, you know? And there's like a real sort of, I guess, a sense of approval when you see something on the screen that you connect to. It tells very authentic stories that uh, touch and grip you um, and are very moving. I think me and a lot of uh, other of my age had such a personal connection with not, uh, not just the film, but also with the stories they were telling. It was like our story. I was already in music at that time, but I think it inspired me to have a bit of a deeper engagement with the idea of not just music in film, but actually the way sound is used in film. The way that disenfranchised sections of society are misconstrued in the media and the film represents that in a really visceral way. It made me feel like I was transported to another world and that I could fight that battle with those characters in the movie. I'd never seen anything like it before. Uh, thankfully I've never really seen anything like it since. The, the greatest thing about cinema is that it can you know show you p potentially complex ideas and you know lay them out in a way that you may not even realize you're understanding them but they kind of you just sort of absorb them um, and you know when it, it opens your eyes to the world around you